Good morning. I'm Pam Wolf, counselor for West Galt, home of River Bluffs Park, where the rare run traditionally begins. I would like to welcome everyone who are doing the walk today, who are running, cycling, or walking as I am, and thank you for supporting Rare Charitable Research Reserve. Today, some of us will walk the traditional 3.5K, run the 5K, or cycle a distance of our choice. Together, along with those who have set a personal challenge for the month of September, we will be helping Rare's Turn the Map Green campaign. Every $2 raised protects one square meter of environmentally sensitive land. Thank you to the participants, organizers, and volunteers for making a difference to nature and not letting a pandemic stop us from impor protecting important land and habitat. Have fun, everyone. Bye. Hello, my name's Sue Fox, and I'm the mayor of North Dumfries. And I'm so glad to be a part of this special event today, the 11th annual Walk and Run for Rare. And an awareness event in support of Turn the Map Green campaign. Rare is such a special and a unique place within our communities. And it's there for all of us to enjoy and remember how good and clean our world can be. But only when we work together, only when we share the responsibility both physical and financial, to ensure that places like Rare are sustained, remain, and continue on for all time. So thank you for participating in this event today. It means a tremendous amount, not just for us, but for future generations, as we acknowledge how beautiful our world is and how much we're needed to be a part of sustaining that beauty. So have a great walk, run, donate, volunteer, and thank you also to all of the people that are involved with Rare in making this a gem within our communities. Have an amazing day. Rare is a shining jewel of environmental education and stewardship along the Grand River. Hello, I'm Mayor Catherine McGarry. That's the message that I share when I travel. When people ask me what's wonderful about Cambridge, I'm honored to bring greetings from Cambridge Council and citizens to everyone involved in this 11th annual Walk and Run for Rare. I've walked the trails throughout Rare and enjoyed fundraising and awareness events at the Old Slit Barn and the Lambs Inn. This year, things are different as we all do our part to fight COVID-19 spread. We're gathering and celebrating virtually in support of our Turn the Map Green campaign. To those who have envisioned what RARE has achieved with an army of volunteers, staff, and board members, thank you. In 1995, as president of Heritage Cambridge, I was horrified to hear that the RARE property was likely going to be sold off, its old growth trees chopped down, and gravel pits carved out across its hillsides. Making this news public brought forward many other concerned citizens and organizations that eventually saw this environmentally sensitive and important landscape preserved for future generations. What a fantastic win for everyone. We all learned that these lands were used by the neutral peoples 15,000 years ago as a summer camp along the Grand River. And there were hundreds of species of birds, reptiles and plants still on these lands. Some that are threatened species now have their habitat protected. Bald eagles have returned. And that's why I'm so excited to be part of this year's virtual event. Rare is such a special place and an environmental oasis in Southern Ontario. I encourage everyone to get out and enjoy and help protect rare every day of the year. Hi, Chair Karen Redmond of Waterloo Region here. I want to tell you it's a great pleasure to welcome you to the 11th annual Walk and Run for Rare. This year the event is virtual. I am always so impressed by the friendly faces and the sheer number of participants at this event. 
This year, the funds will go to Turn the Map Green campaign. This is a grassroots initiative to ensure the protection in perpetuity of over 900 acres of environmentally sensitive land along the Grand and Speed Rivers. Thank you for investing in our collective future. Thank you for investing in the future of our children for lifelong learning and connections to nature. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you choose to walk or run, and I look forward to celebrating with you in person next year. Hi everyone, it's Belinda Carhalios, the MPP for Cambridge, and I'm so happy to join you all virtually today for the 11th annual Walk and Run for Rare. The virtual setup obviously looks a little different than in other years, but it's wonderful to see this event continuing again this year to benefit Rare's Turn the Map Green campaign and further raise awareness of the Rare Charitable Research Reserve. I had the opportunity to speak with Rare early on in the pandemic and learn more about the organization's history here in Cambridge and the work being done by Dr. Sobek Swant and the entire Rare team, whether that's research, educating youth in the public, and promoting conservation here in Cambridge and Waterloo Region. We are so fortunate to have such diversity here with different ecosystems and habitats that make our region home for so many. And we are equally fortunate to have Rare as a champion of that diversity, which truly sets us apart from other areas of our province and around the world. Thank you to the fundraisers, the four week challengers, and those who registered to partake for just today for showing your support for Rare. Congratulations and thanks also to the sponsors and those who made this possible this year and who make it possible every year. So whether you're walking, running, or watching at home, have a great day. Hello, I'm Brian May, your Member of Parliament for Cambridge. Congratulations to everyone participating in the Walk and Run for Rare. I hope that you enjoy the beauty of our great local trails. Today, be mindful that you are making a difference in keeping our green spaces clean and thriving, helping to protect our shared ecosystem. Rare has been active for almost 20 years, protecting green spaces in our community. Their work on endangered and at-risk species is critical for the maintenance of our ecology. Rare's work is ongoing. They've acquired 87 acres of protected forests, creeks, wetlands, grasslands, and cliffs in Rockwood, which is the next step in the Aramosa River Conservation Corridor. This is a huge accomplishment and congratulations. To help out or get involved, don't forget to visit rarecites.org to see more of their great work. Thank you to Rare for all that you do for our community.